Pack your bags and prepare to join Dr. Miles and Ruth Monroe at the marriage event of the year, the International Leaders Tropical Marriage Retreat at the exclusive Atlantis Resort in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, April 23rd to the 27th. Reconnect with your spouse, empty your heart, and join couples from around the world for informative sessions, hands-on workshops, and lots of fun. Rekindle the fire on a sunset harbor cruise. Enjoy a unique renewal of vows ceremony. And finally, dance the night away at the exclusive Date Your Spouse Banquet. The cost, $995 per couple, with payment options available. For additional information and to reserve your spot today, contact us at 242-461-6445 or 461-6471 or via email at bfmconferences at gmail.com. Invest in your marriage today. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Miles Monroe. And I am excited about our midweek Leadership Kingdom Bible Study. We're going to learn about how to discover your leadership. And every human being was born to be a leader, but not over people. You were born to be a leader in an area of gifting. Our theme this year for 2013 is Kingdom Leadership Transforming Society. And this Wednesday sessions is to focus on discovering your leadership gift. We're going to learn what is leadership, how leadership works, the principles of leadership, the qualities of leadership, the qualifications of leadership, and how to become the leader you were born to be. You don't want to miss it. Every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., join me and my leadership team as we teach you intensive studies on leadership discoveries in your life. Whether you are a student, a baker, a cook, a mechanic, a CEO, or a pastor. So every Wednesday, meet with us, 7.30 p.m., Diplomat Center, for our Kingdom Leadership Bible Studies, for you to discover your leadership. And by the way, we invite all of our cyber members to join us and tune in online at bfmmm.com slash TV. You don't want to miss it online or on time. Diplomat Center right here in Nassau, Bahamas. So be there and join me and my leadership team for our midweek Kingdom Leadership Training Bible Study. You don't want to miss it. It's going to transform your life. And remember, you were born to be a leader. Don't die a follower. My experience in the media department has been pretty much, I would say, life-changing. Uh, I always tell people, if it wasn't for BFM's media department, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Because if, if it wasn't for people like Agatha Christie and Fritz Nell Brave and uh, who else was there? Ebony Mackey. I wouldn't be here because they offered me the, they gave me the opportunity to actually get behind a camera and, and learn, learn a craft. They gave me an opportunity to actually figure out what it was that I wanted to be in life. Even though at that time I was, I wanted to be an architect. I was at COB studying architecture, but it was through BFM's media department that I was willing to, I was able to provide, I was able to at least pay for some of my tuition. And if it wasn't for, I guess, like, like I said, these people um, giving me that opportunity and seeing that, that future in me, I wouldn't be here with a bachelor's in visual effects and motion graphics and an associate's in video production. Uh, making this my actual career, my career planning and choice for the rest of my life. Um, but I guess if whoever, even if you just have the opportunity just to come out and help, uh, it's, it's life changing. 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 I want to talk to men today. I want to talk to men of the Bahamas. You know, life can be hard. Life can be rough. Trust me, I know. In life, we're faced with many challenges. With these challenges, we have many questions. With each question, we're looking for an answer. What is that answer? While we're looking for these answers, we've been bothered with all kinds of other challenges, their standards, their rules, their laws. What should I do? Where should I go? We're constantly asked, is this the right thing to do? But man, you know, there are standards to everything in life. Take for instance, basketball, we love basketball. Basketball has rules. There are lines that show boundaries. There's a height for the rim. You can't just take a ball, lower the rim, and take a shot. It doesn't work that way. You have to follow according to the standards. Well, men, 
you have questions, there are answers for you. Come Saturday, March 16th at 8 a.m. in the morning, Real Men's Ministry is going to be hosting its prayer breakfast and we're going to have as our special guest speaker, Dr. Kendall Major, our very own Kendall Major, the Speaker of the House of Assembly. He's going to speak to men on that morning. We're going to talk about laws. We're going to talk about boundaries. We're going to talk about what it means to be a man, what it means to be a man in the sight of God, what it means to be a man in society, what it means to be a man where it comes to most in our homes. So man, come early. I want you to bring your brothers, bring your uncles, bring every man you could find, hold him by the hand. Bring him, it's gonna be an exciting morning, guys. I want us to be there, let's be there early. Don't forget, it's March 16th at 8 a.m. sharp, BFM Cafeteria. I'm looking forward to seeing you, man, because if you lose, if you miss this opportunity, you're gonna lose the shot and you could lose the game. Welcome Kingdom Citizens to another Kingdom News Update. I'm Eva Brown. And I'm Vania Volmi. And we're delighted that you can join us. We are pleased to inform that our own Brianne Adderley, freshman at Taylor University and daughter of Bonnie Lynn Adderley, is a part of the World Outreach Missions team traveling to El Salvador on March 23rd through to April 1st. And congratulations to Kananaya Arison Johnson, daughter of Maria Johnson, for achieving the principal's list and maintaining a 4.0 GPA for two consecutive terms. In the Fine Arts Department, Minister Tracy and Ruth Knowles are presently attending the U.S. Virgin Islands' 8th Annual ASAP Worship Conference. And persons who are interested in becoming a part of the upcoming Easter production are asked to see Minister Dandrea Scott or Patrice Stubbs in the foyer immediately after service today. The Marriage and Family Enrichment Seminar is presently in progress. Persons still wishing to be a part of the seminar may do so by submitting an application form along with the application fee. For more information, please contact Ms. Cynthia Fowler during regular working hours at 461-6475. Volunteers are needed for ushering and seating monitoring for the upcoming Rifta event. They are also looking to hire parking lot attendants for $50 per shift from March 29th through April 1st. Men and women 21 years and older may apply. For more information, please contact Patrice Dean at 325-0380 or email her at patrice.dean at nsabahamas.com. That is p-a-t-r-e-c-e dot dean at nsa-bahamas.com. Water baptism is scheduled for April 27th at Goodman's Bay West. Persons who have picked up applications for water baptism are asked to please turn them in. Now for our youth announcements. The Teens Leading Teens Seminar is now scheduled for Saturday, March 23rd. Please call the youth office for more details at 461-6430. Please pray for Pastors Dave and Angie and Davriel Burrows, who are ministering at the Porter's House in Denver this weekend. Stay tuned for a new date for the release of The Corporation. If you would like to assist a teen in attending the Acquire the Fire conference, please contact Pastor Dave or the youth office at 461-6430. On Friday, March 15th, TYC will be hosting a special Friday night live event with Pastor Ricardo Miller of Dallas, Texas. All youth are invited and encouraged to attend. There will also be a special guest artist and musical performances. Young Champions Boys Club continues every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. for young men ages 9 to 21. Transportation is available. Please call the youth office at 461-6430. And TYC Stages meetings continue upstairs in the cafeteria every Sunday. This week at BFMI on Monday, March 11th at 7.30 p.m., Plan to be a part of your Kingdom Prayer Congress. On Tuesday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m., there will be a Leadership Church Council meeting. On Wednesday, March 13th at 7.30 p.m., plan to be a part of your Midweek Kingdom Leadership Seminar. And on Sunday, March 17th at 10 a.m., join us for our Kingdom Citizen Celebration. Let us continue to pray for the complete healing of Ashley Storr, granddaughter of Beverly Storr, Beverly Cargill, Sandra Kemp, Joy Mullings, Cynthia Brennan, and Gina Butler. Thank you, Kingdom Citizens, for tuning in to another Kingdom News Update. I'm Eva Brown. And I'm Vinia Volmi. And we're coming to you from the Bahamas, the place where, where God, God lives. lives.